Solving this problem is really a two-step process. The first thing we're going to need to know is how many gallons we're going to need to drive 2,725 miles. And the second step is to find out how much it will cost to buy all those gallons. Step one, how many gallons will we need to buy? Well, we want to travel 2,727 miles. And we're told that every one gallon of gas will get you 27 miles. 27 miles for every one gallon. One is kind of implied here, so I'll get rid of the one. Well, what's 2,725 divided by 27? It's 101. So we need to buy 101 gallons of gas for this trip. Step two, how much will it cost to buy that gasoline? Well, we take 101 gallons. I'll even write the units here, gallons, times $4, $4.04 per gallon. And what do we have here? Gallons on the top, gallons on the bottom. Cancel. $4.04 times 101. It's going to be just a tiny bit more than $400. It's going to be what? $408.04. Now that's one way to solve it, but there are a couple of other ways that are well worth your time to go over. And so let's look at them. Here's a second way. Let's think about proportions. What's a proportion in math? Well, a proportion means that two ratios are equal to each other. Now, what are the ratios here? For every gallon of gas, you can travel 27 miles. So the ratio of miles, 27 miles, to one gallon of gas is the same as, is proportional to 2,727 miles to a number we don't know, so let's call it x gallons of gas. One gallon can get you 27 miles. The question is how many gallons of gas would you need to travel 2,727 miles? Well, there are a couple ways we can find that. So these two ratios, 27 to 1 and 2,727 to x are exactly the same thing. That's why we have the equal sign. Proportion, setting one ratio equal to another. Okay, well, how do we solve for x? Well, one way is to cross multiply. You remember that? Cross multiply. So on the left-hand side, 27 times x, 27x, equals on the right-hand side, 2,727. We divide both sides by 27, and x equals 101, just as we had before. And then step two is the same, 101 gallons times $4.04 .04 for every gallon is going to cost us, again, about $400. About $400, just a little bit more than that. We found the value of x by cross-multiplying. What's another way you could do it? Also very good to know. Let's go back to go from 27 to 2,725. You would multiply, you would multiply by about 100. We said it's 101, but 100 close enough. That being the case, in order to keep the proportions the same, you would also multiply the bottom by 100. This was an implied 1, 1 gallon. So 1 times 100, x would be about, about 100 gallons. And as we said before, it's actually 101, but close enough. Very, very close. How much would it cost to buy all those gallons? Well, once again, step 2. 100 gallons, you pay $4.04 .04 for each of those gallons. Gallons and gallons cancel, and you have, again, about $400. If you found that explanation helpful, I hope you'll go ahead and click the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends. We'll see you in the next video.